This time, not only is my computer freaking out, I'm freaking out, and the rest of the internet is going to freak out. I can guarantee you that. Um, alright, the last show of E3, and it was Nintendo. Oh, okay, okay, so, before I get to V1, I'm going to start like they did at the beginning. Damon X Machina. It was some... They didn't, I don't think they showed gameplay. I think it was just a CG trailer, or maybe it was in-game, but we didn't see gameplay. Or, they hate gameplay well. It's some kind of mech beat -em up game, I think. Or, I don't know if it's beat -em up but... Um... Some kind of mech game. Uh, I, I'm guessing they had... Co there's a, um... There's gonna be a theme of co-op. Because you had the two robots fighting against one. There's not much information to go off, but it looked cool. Uh... Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC, never played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, it's just not in my interest, but it seemed like it's going to make people happy, I'll tell you that much, although I haven't played the first game, but seeing as how Rex wasn't in any of these trailers, I'm sorry, the second game, whatever you want to call it, uh, is Rex dead? Is that something that happens in Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Because he's not in this at all, unless this takes place like before, I don't think it does though. Um, then they show more Pokemon Let's Go. Some people are happy for this, some are not. I'm in the boat that's kind of not... I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just like... Kanto again? Again? And it's just like a better version of Pokemon Go. So, but if you're happy for it, good. Uh, and then they premiered the Ultimate Friendship Ender Super Mario Party. Um, it's Mario Party, what else can I say? It's just, you know, it's probably gonna be a lot more, um... Friendship Endy. It's Mario Party, it's not else I can say. Fire Emblem Three Houses, I th think... This is the uh, Switch Fire Emblem game they're teasing, unless it's just a spin-off. Either way, it looks good. Not a Fire Emblem guy. Unless it deals with just Ike and Smash Brothers, which I'll get to. Um, it, seemed like, it seemed like it was pretty cool, though, so hopefully Fire Emblem fans are happy. And then they showed Fortnite, whatever. And then they showed, uh, you know, Indies coming, which, you know, Overcooked 2, Hollow Knight, and what was it? Killer Queen B or something like that? I forget the name of the title. Uh, they all look interesting. I'm just surprised Beyonce's getting her own game, get it? Queen B. Anyway, uh, yeah, Killer, Killer, I'm just gonna call it Killer Queen, it's a lot easier to say. They looked cool, they looked cool. Uh, Octopath Traveler, they mentioned that, and then there was a quick sizzle reel. Wow, two minutes in, two, two thirty, two forty, and I'm already talking about this. Okay. Smash for Switch. Oh. My Fucking God! It is... Okay, it is it is a new Smash game, but it isn't. It's new in the fact that it has more, but it's not in the fact that it's more like an upgraded port. But it's not just a port of Smash Wii U. It's a port of everything. It is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It has everybody. Everybody. Like, insert Gary Oldman yelling everyone clip here. It has everyone... Every character from every Smash game ever, ever, is in here. Every stage is in here. It, oh my god, this is literally the, this pleases literally, okay, not literally, this pleases 99.9999999% of people, because nobody can bitch now how some characters are missing, or like that, they'll find stuff to bitch about the gameplay, but that's completely subjective. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is everybody. And it's not just like straight up ports too. They did design new things for new characters and even like revamped old characters. It's just, oh my fucking god! Oh, it's great. Oh, eight players back. The final smashes are mostly now real supers. It's not like, they still, some of them still have gimmicks, but a lot of the gimmicks take away for straight up cinematic supers getting straight to the point, which is what everybody I'm sure wanted. It's just straight-up super, so hopefully they're not banned from tournaments. I mean, they probably still will be because it's considered an item, but whatever. Especially with the whole fake um, Smash uh, Ball. But supers are back. The, uh, the thing with that, this might be a short video only because there's way too much to go into. Uh, I might be doing a video with one of my friends discussing more into it. But in my in this, this is too much to go into, but I'm just going to go through over some things that I saw. I was able to catch, uh, which is a lot. Um... Uh, the percentages, uh, they have now decimal points. So instead of just having the normal percentages, you have percentages, and also I saw, like, some things had, like, 0.5 after that, so, like, 35% 0.5, it's like, huh, you could actually map out how much damage each thing does. 
And in one-on-one -on -one play, damage is increased, where in, like, multiplayer, like, full-on multiplayer play, it's not as big. Oh my god. Uh, okay, this is something small, but I noticed it. There's less sex appeal on Zero Suit Samus, which... Why? Because people were complaining. I mean, I personally like Brawl's Zero Suit Samus design better. I hate the freaking mole that Other M added to her. And they used that in Smash 4, and because, oh, Smash 4, she's sexier, it's, they literally, like, took the same model and just reduced, like, both sides. It's not a big issue, but it's like, don't give in to people like that, who gives a shit? But, like I said, I like Brawl's design better overall anyway, so, not too big of a deal. Uh, they, the clone fighters are now not considered clones, they are clones, but they're not considered, they call them Echo Fighters. Um, so, Dark Pit... Lucina, I'm guessing probably Dr. Mario too. They're called Echo Fighters, where they're similar, but not the same, whereas, like, the previous clone characters we had, like, Falco, and, uh, Falco and Wolf and stuff like that, and Gandorf are probably, sh like, they used to be clones, but now they're more or less their own characters with similar moves. Echo characters are, like, similar enough that they could be costumes, but not too similar, if that makes any sense. Uh, they showed more of the, oh, and uh, Daisy's in the game, she's a Peach Echo Fighter. So, that's cool. So, Daisy's finally in the game. Waluigi got shafted, though. So, that's sad. Um, uh, Inkling. They showed Inkling. Uh, I've never played Splatoon. So, it's it looks unique, though. So, maybe I'll have to see that out. See how... Ooh, not the game. See how the Inkling plays. But it's going to be a little while still. Bomberman is in the game, but he's only an assist trophy. And I think that's fine. I don't think they needed to do a whole moveset around him. I think him being a assist trophy is fine. Um, GameCube controllers are are back, of course. Um, you need that because the Wii Pro controller I do not have, but I mean the the, Wii, the Switch Pro controller I don't have, but it's, it seems a little cumbersome. So I'm glad the GameCube controller is there, which is good. And then literally everybody was proven wrong because Ridley is in the game and they did it like how other, um, how Project M did it and they just shrunk him down. That's all you need to do. So people are like, oh, he's too big. No. All you had to do was shrink him down. That's it. And there's, I know, there's a lot of stuff I missed. There was a lot of stuff I missed. I got it. But I went over what I felt was, you know, important to me with the, uh, the exception of Zero Suit Sam. That was just something I noticed that you know, pissed me and my dick off. Anyway, um, and the release date is, unless it gets delayed, it's this year. So, December 7th, that's awesome. That is amazing. I'm gonna go poor from this E3. Ugh. So, however, well, Smash's section was amazing, can I count an Ultimate Edition as, like, Winning E3, I'm not sure, because it's literally, it is everything, it's an improved version of everything, but it's just everything. I think Nintendo, Nintendo's conference was still strong, because they showed the games, not much talking, they got straight into it, and then, you know, most of it was Smash, I get that. Uh, but, I don't know, they might, I'm sure people are going to say they won E3 cause solely because of Smash. I'm inclined to agree, but at the same time, it's also like, can we really count Smash, uh, uh, the best version of Smash ever made, I'm sure, um, as winning? I'm not sure. As of this video, I'm conflicted. I'm sure at some other point in my life, I'll be like, oh, yes, they certainly win, or maybe Microsoft certainly won, or some alternate universe where World Peace happened, or World War Three, EA won. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Um, but I think it still was a really strong and solid, uh, conference. So I would say it's tied with, well, I mentioned this, you know, last year, which tied with Microsoft. I think this time it really is. It could be better. I think it might actually win E3. But for me, I need time to think about that. I'm sure people are already saying Nintendo won E3. But I need time to think about that. So we finally got a Smash game that's made for everybody but Melee players. Get off your fucking rocking chairs, melee players. Jesus.